Gamma sclerokinesis might be effective. That one explodes. Don't get too close. If your body begins to burn with fire, it will drain your health. So be careful. Watch out for electric attacks. You won't be able to move if you're electrified. Come on! Here we go! Leave it to me! There you are. Master Yuito has arrived. Welcome to Togetsu. Huh? Uh, hello. This isn't what I expected at all. Lady Hanabi Ichijo, we are forever in your uncle's debt. Yes, thank you. So, what does he do for you again, my uncle? He mainly provides us with food and medical supplies, and we give him resources in return. Resources... Thank you for this warm welcome. I didn't expect it on an unannounced visit. Uh, so we... You are interested in our knowledge, yes? Huh? You are a special guest. Please come with me. It seems we're being welcomed in. Though I don't know why. You could say it's a stroke of luck, but that's a little too convenient. It looks like they know we're here for information. 
It seemed like they knew about Yuito and me too. I don't see anything or anyone strange around us, but there are many things I can't see. It honestly doesn't feel right to me, but we won't know anything unless we keep going. Let's follow those people. Sugumi, let us know the moment you notice anything. You too, Wataru. Got it. Copy that. Be careful. Look at all of them. It's amazing. Are these real books? If I could, I would like to read them all. Um, what is this place? Please speak to history. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Speak? Who are we supposed to speak to? Besides us, there's no one else in this room. <sighs> oh, maybe he means we should read the book on that desk. <gasps> what, what is, is it, it that, that you seek? seek? Kyoka? What's going on? Why is there an image of Kyoka? Name, Kyoka. One relevant result. I will provide information about Kyoka Eden. Kyoka Eden is one of the design children created in Togetsu. Design what? What does this thing mean, created? Design children. I've heard that phrase before. If I'm not mistaken, they're people that were designed with specific genes for desired outer appearance and physical ability. I looked into it too. It's basically what Luca said, but it says it's just a theory and impossible to implement. Yes, it's kind of hard to believe. How could a mere religious group have such advanced technology? And how could Kyoka be one of them? I've never heard that she was involved with Togetsu, but this vision really does look like her. This form is not Kyoka Eden. It is Dr. Hitoyo Pope, the expert in neuroscience and power research, and the founder of the Togetsu faith. What? So you're saying Kyoka and Dr. Pope have the same face? Yes, Kyoka Eden was created based on Dr. Pope. Dr. Pope made Kyoka? No. Dr. Pope passed away nearly 2,000 years ago and is no longer with us. Two thousand years ago? The Togetsu faith is that old? That's the same time that New Himuka was founded. Oh, I see. So, does that mean there's information here on New Himuka from that period? Huh? The moon watches over you. It's gone. It felt like we were having a conversation with it. But I think this is just a database searching terminal with voice controls. And from the looks of it, this terminal doesn't have permission to answer Yuito's last question. So can we just try to sit somewhere else? It doesn't seem too dangerous. Whether or not the information is accurate is another matter. Right. Okay, let's try another terminal. Let me try sitting this time. What is it that you seek? Where should I start? Let's see. What was New Himuka like when the country was first founded? New Himuka. I will provide information on the country's history. New Himuka was founded 2,020 years ago on Earth as a nation of Ark citizens. Ark citizens? What's that? The title of the colonists that came to Earth from the moon. What? From the moon? Yes. In the beginning, mankind prospered on Earth. But let us take a look at what happened 3,000 years ago. Environmental changes caused by a shift in the Earth's orbit drastically decreased the human population for a period of time. Humans emigrated to the moon, and built a city there to ensure the survival of their species. 
From there, they moved forward with renovating Earth's environment. What are you saying? After the Thousand Year Renovation Project, Earth's environment became mostly inhabitable again. So a group of colonists were dispatched from the moon. They were the Ark. I'm not sure I'm quite getting it. You're saying people moved from the Earth to the moon and then came back down to Earth? Wait a minute, I can't keep up. They dispatched colonists. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you mean that a group of people were selected to leave the moon? That is right. If that's true, then there are still people on the moon, right? What did you say? Huh? The moon watches over you. <sighs> oh. What do you think? I gave up trying to understand halfway through. It's so absurd that... I almost want to believe it's just a Togetsu fairy tale. There's no mention of it at all in my info network. It's probably just some religious scripture of Togetsu. If colonists founded New Himuka, then the founding father, Yakumo Sumeragi, came from the moon. Um, hang on. Your ancestor came from the moon? If what this vision says is true, all the people on Earth are descended from colonists from the moon. If all that stuff about the moon is true, that means New Himuka is hiding this information. Is there some kind of reason they don't want anyone to know? I'm like, high key afraid of the other terminals now. Well, I'm done sitting here. I feel someone watching. No one should be there, though. It appears we should remain vigilant. Let me give it a try. What is it that you seek? Continuing from before, are there still people currently living on the moon? I cannot properly answer that request. Why not? At this time, all communications with the moon are suspended. Suspended? Oh, the extinction belt. Yes. Due to the effects of the extinction belt, no information from the moon reaches Earth. Huh? But with the extinction belt there, the colonists wouldn't have been able to come down from the moon. They'd be attacked... by others. No. When the colonists made their descent from the moon, the extinction belt did not exist yet. It appeared after the colonists came to Earth? Yes, that is correct. We were taught that the Extinction Belt was born in the Spring of Extinction. That happened when the nation was founded. The colonists came to Earth, then the Extinction Belt appeared, and New Himuka was founded. That lines up. That being said, that isn't enough proof for us to believe it. So the others appeared with the Extinction Belt. That is incorrect. The others suddenly started appearing long after the Extinction Belt appeared. What? It wasn't at the same time? But aren't others born in the Extinction Belt? The moon watches over you. <sighs> now I really do feel like the moon is watching me. The others are even more mysterious now. Gamma, are you alright? Yeah. But I just can't get myself to believe all of this. How about everyone else? I can't go along with it either, but all we can do for now is accept it and try to get more information. There's one more terminal. We need to learn all we can while we're here. Do the rest of you feel something strange? Yeah, it doesn't feel right. Then I'll sit. What is it that you seek? Let me try being direct this time. What exactly are others? I cannot access the information you seek here. Access to Babe is necessary. Babe? So the terminals here can't answer. That may be true, 
but the vision hasn't disappeared. Also, I'm sure you've all realized by now, isn't it weird that our random questions and the permissions of the terminals all lined up? So, you're saying Togetsu has some kind of plan here? I'm sure they do, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. The reason we came here is to gather any information we couldn't find in Suo or Seiron. Maybe they knew about that? Of course, this could all be made up. But what happens if we match everything we heard to Major General Fubuki's plans? Will we just tell everyone that we came from the moon? There's no proof. They'll laugh us out of every town. You're right. Even if it is true, it was 2,000 years ago. That's ancient history to us now. Yeah, I think so too. We need information to appeal to our current... the people's current sense of danger. I will provide information on current sense of danger. Huh? Kunat Gate. The pseudo-black hole that appeared above Kunat Highway. That is called the Kunat Gate. It's talking about that localized gravitational anomaly. There actually hasn't been much news about that. What's dangerous about it? This gravitational anomaly is continuing to expand daily, and is expected to consume Earth in the near future. What? The Earth is going to be swallowed by the Kunod Gate? The Kunod Gate is expected to expand in response to the power of Yuito Sumeragi. <gasps> it is likely that the destruction of Earth is unavoidable. Why is it mentioning Yuito? The destruction of Earth? And you're saying it's Yuito's fault? That's ridiculous. But there is nothing to fear. All will be saved if you trust in the teachings of Togetsu. Hang on. What about my power? What does the Kunod Gate have to do with me? The Kunod Gate is a trivial problem. The correction of the incorrect universe is essential to create the true future. Souls return to Mother Moon. The moon watches over you. Hey! Don't let what it said bother you. It was probably just trying to scare us. The Kunod Gate. I did indeed hear that hole is pulling in things around it. So, it's saying the hole will get bigger and swallow the Earth? No, it's dangerous to take that at face value. Yuito, I know hearing your own name shocked you, but this might be a trap. We can't let ourselves be misled. Yeah, it doesn't feel true. But if what they're saying is true, could that be the reason why Kasane tried to kill me? Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, I'm fine. There isn't any proof, but it might be best for me to talk to Kasane, just to make sure. But, if I find out that it is indeed true, and the Kunod Gate is linked to my power in some way, what am I gonna do? Okay, we're done checking the terminals, but I wonder what this babe, the last terminal mentioned is. Yeah, I wonder what it meant by that. I see you seek information on babe. Uh, you scared me! Please proceed through the door in front of you. Babe awaits. Sorry, but what is Babe? The city computer managing Togetsu. Similar to Arahabaki and Suo. They have something like that? This way, please. This is suspicious. No matter how you look at it. Outsiders would in no way be allowed access to a system on the level of Arahabaki. And you gotta wonder. Why would such a small religious group need a computer like that, too? Leaving now is not an option for us. Let's just see what this babe terminal thing is. There's a huge room on the other side of that door. I can see something. It appears to be a terminal. 
Be careful. Our communications might get cut off. Copy. We'll get out right away if things look bad. It must be Babe. We don't know what might happen. Let's stay on our toes. Is this the Babe Terminal? Yes. This way, Master Yuito. Babe will answer all of your questions. I'm sure you are having difficulty believing all you learned here today. That doubt will turn to belief if you speak with Babe. Please trust in the teachings. The moon is always watching over you. Wataru, do you copy? No good. This room is cut off from Sinet. Let's get the information we need and get out quickly. We're too vulnerable here. Yeah. Let's start up the terminal for now. Be careful. Oh, I guess there's no vision of Dr. Pope this time. How do we get information out of this? This feels like... an SAS! What is... I can't... My body... Stop! What you're doing is too dangerous! Cut the connection now! Can you hear me, Yuito? Kasane? The connection... Babe is trying to take over my brain? Yuito? <laughs> Yuito! Are you okay? What just happened? It seems like they were trying to hijack my brain. Thanks for disconnecting me. We have to stop. That believer was acting strange. They might have been after Yuito's brain from the very beginning. Luckily enough, Yuito's alright. Let's give up on the info and get the hell out of here. Yeah. But I wonder if they'll just let us leave. Yuito, I forced myself in because I was nearby. Kasane! Yuito gets her too? Uh, wait, before that, thanks for saving me. Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. They have? They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you in Babe's terminal? I want you to try to unlock all the doors in Togetsu from there. Okay, I'll try. What are they doing in Togetsu? No, I don't have time to think about that now. Babe is the computer that controls all of Togetsu, right? Maybe it can unlock all of the doors. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Kasane forced a brain talk connection with me. She said Arashi and the others are locked in a room somewhere. What? Kasane's in Togetsu? Is she after you again? No, I only realized I was in danger because she warned me. She wouldn't have helped me if she was planning to kill me. All right. It's unlikely that Kasane or her platoon are working with Togetsu. So something must have happened to them. Luka? We can't let Yuito be taken over. Don't worry. It looks like I can operate it normally. Helping Kasane platoon is all well and good. But we have to make a plan to get ourselves out of here. All right. If I just unlock this... That's to be expected, but this should let them escape as well. Thanks, Luca. Everyone, let's get out of here. And I'm connected. Is everyone all right? We're okay, but we might be in trouble. 
We need to get out of here. We have to escape to get to. Stay on your toes! Move! Kasane? Did she come with Kyoka? No, wait, this is... Hey, quit messing around. Your way out's getting closed off. I'm breaking through! What was it that just attacked us? They look just like Kasane and Kyoka. Design children. So it's not just Kyoka. Kasane is one of Togetsu's design children too? Can you think of another reason they'd have the same face? Enemies approaching at four o'clock. Reinforcements, maybe. There's no time to talk. Just focus on getting out of there. Break the outer shell if you keep attacking. Next. 
attack worked. That must be a weak spot. Water attack? Getting wet limits your mobility, so be careful. Doesn't look like anyone's following us. Maybe they gave up. Looks like it, but stay on your guard. I wonder if Kasane's team got out all right. Whoa, other reading closing in. It's a big one. Dead ahead. There are others? Are you okay? Not now. 
No. There's no way I can drink that. I'm... fine. I can fight. Let me borrow this! That ice is like armor. Rick, my power might be able to melt it. Come on!
everyone okay? Thank you. Thanks, Nobby. You should be able to break the outer shell to keep attacking. Use this. Shall breach confirmed. Put the pressure on. Target eliminated, and everyone's safe. How's your head? Don't strain yourself. I'm better now. Sorry I made you worry. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? Kasane! Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes, but we're closer to Togetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And... we have a lot to talk about. And here I was thinking she wouldn't want to talk. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hiano Mountain. Roger that. See you then. Sorry. I should have checked with you guys first. You're the one Kasane is after. If that's what you want to do, I don't mind. But can you trust her? I told you that she saved me in Togetsu. I think she had a reason for trying to kill me. So I want to talk to her. What are you gonna do if she doesn't want to talk and just attacks you? Then I'll fight. Okay, if you say so, Commander. Let's get down the mountain for now. If I'm right about how she sounded, we should be able to talk. I mean, I hope we can talk to her, but... I'm not just going along blindly, but it was your decision. I want to respect that. Yeah. They're here. It's all of Kasane, Platoon. Kasane! Looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. I tried to kill you because I was asked to. By you. Fifty years in the future. Me? Fifty years in the future? What are you talking about? I completely understand how you feel. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, there's no way I would have believed it either. Do you remember when Captain Seto died on the Kunod Highway, and we saw that strange sight? My time travel power, the red strings, activated. Then we jumped 50 years into the future. What? You went to the future? Red strings? That's right. You said you have dreams about those. It wasn't a dream. I have the ability to travel through time. A power called red strings. And Yuito, apparently you have the same power as well. 
What? I know we both use psychokinesis, but that's not what you're saying. It seems you understand these red strings a lot better than the rest of us. Just where did you get that knowledge? Was that from the future too? Yes, it was. We saw Yuito in the future. He told me quite a lot. He also asked you to kill me. Right. I'll tell you everything I learned in the future. That should answer everyone's questions. Who should I ask first? 